In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize shorts for the summertime just like these using heat transfer vinyl, Cricut Explorer Air 2, and a heat press. This video is for people who have been looking into buying their own equipment to make shorts for their clothing brand or small business. I love and recommend all of the equipment that I will be using today. With this summer heat, it is extremely essential for you to be offering shorts right now for your clothing brand or small business. All of the equipment and items that I will be using in this video will be available in the description just to make it easy for you guys. This is going to be a step-by-step -step breakdown and I will be including tips and tricks throughout the video to help you out and make your time more efficient. I upload videos weekly on how to use your Cricut to grow or start your clothing brand. So if you find this helpful, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. If you guys have any questions during this video, meet me in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right, let's get right into it. So my inspiration behind this design was those rouge shorts that have that outline of the letters going across the lower thighish area, except I wanted to do it with old English. All right, so the first step is to grab your measuring tape and figure out what dimensions you would like your design to be so that you can put those exact dimensions into your Cricut design space. Please do yourself a favor and do not skip this step. The last thing you want to do is waste any vinyl because over time it definitely adds up. If you guys want an in-depth video on how I made the outline design on Cricut Design Space, please let me know in the comment section and I would love to do that for you. But basically what I did was duplicate my text layer and made it slightly smaller while keeping the layer on top and then hitting slice and then removing my unwanted layers. If that doesn't make any sense, no worries, just let me know and I will make a video on that. Before sending your design to the vinyl cutter, make sure you mirror your design in the Design Space app because if you don't do this, your image will not be facing the correct way and you will end up wasting vinyl. So now it's time to load our vinyl cutter. It's really important to invest in good quality vinyl. If you buy cheap heat transfer vinyl, you run a higher risk of your vinyl falling off in the wash or during actually wearing it. Once we have our heat transfer vinyl onto the mat, we can go ahead and load it into our Cricut Explorer Air 2. For heat transfer vinyl, I like to set my needle pressure between iron-on and iron-on plus. Depending on how dull your needle is, it's going to be between one of those two settings. I always recommend to do a few test cuts before starting your project just to ensure that you have the correct settings. Please don't forget the step and please be patient because you don't want to waste any supplies due to not paying attention. The Cricut Explorer Air 2 offers an option that allows you to cut your vinyl two times speed. I only do this if the design I'm cutting isn't too intricate. Now that the vinyl cutter is done, it's time to peel our vinyl. Personally, I use tweezers for this part, but you can use anything that is comfortable to you. There is no wrong tool to use. Be super patient during this process because if you're not paying attention, you can definitely mess up the vinyl. I understand, it can be a little bit frustrating at first, but I promise you over time you will become an expert. I used to think peeling vinyl was impossible at one point. If certain parts get hard to peel, what I recommend doing is try peeling in the opposite direction. I can give you advice all day, but in reality, practice is going to make perfect. Just take your time and I promise you, you got this. It's also really smart to invest in some type of small light so you can face it directly onto the vinyl so you can see the cut a lot easier. If you guys have any questions at this point, don't forget to leave in the comment section and hit that like if you haven't already. Now it's time to heat press our heat transfer vinyl onto the shorts. For this project, I'm going to be using a fancier studio 15 by 15 heat press. For the price, I love this heat press. It's made out of complete metal, which I love because I hate heat presses that have plastic pieces. You can also adjust the pressure on this, which is an essential feature that is needed. This heat press is linked in the description as well. For regular heat transfer vinyl, I like setting my heat press between 365 degrees and 380 degrees. These heat settings are going to vary depending on the brand of heat press that you're using. So I like to always recommend to make sure you do some test runs before starting on any full project. Okay, so quick tip when pressing items like these. These shorts have some pretty thick pockets and the problem is if I press it with nothing in between the layers of the shorts, then you're going to get an indentation on the shorts on every part of the pocket and it's going to look extremely ugly and you're not going to be able to get it out. So what I do is add a mat in the middle so that way the pocket will not get in the way and press onto the other side. There's lots of garments that require this method. 
So keep this in mind for the future because this will come in clutch, I promise you. I always hated getting those nasty creases when I first started. All right, now let's press our heat transfer vinyl. Before you press, make sure there are no creases in the way. Now let's go ahead and press it for about 15 seconds with medium to tight pressure. Remember, if you feel like your vinyl needs an extra couple of seconds of pressing, always feel free to do so. Now, when peeling our vinyl, it's extremely important to know if you're working with cold peel or hot peel vinyl. Basically, hot peel heat transfer vinyl can be peeled off the garment while it's hot. Cold peel heat transfer vinyl usually requires about 45 seconds to one minute before it can be peeled. If you try and peel cold peel while it's hot, the vinyl's gonna end up coming off. This might be the reason why some of your vinyl wasn't sticking in the past. Now, we're gonna repeat the process for the other side of the shorts. Take your time while pressing because I promise you, you will appreciate yourself for taking the slow route and getting things done right the first time. If you guys have made it this far and have any questions, don't forget to meet me in the comment section and I will respond to you pretty quick. And there you go guys, we just made some shorts using heat transfer vinyl that are going to be perfect for the summertime. If you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe and like I said, everything I use in this video is in the description. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I'm looking forward to engaging with you guys through my content.